And the only true way to go back is to have a Sinji versus John Numbers Grand Finals, which is probably going to Game 10 Reset. Get ready for a long one, folks. We got Game Number 1 of John Numbers versus Sinji. We already saw the previous Game 5 that went to it, and we're going to be making our homes and, uh, and getting comfy here in town and city. <laughs> Yeah, I think maybe not comfy, but complacent with the surroundings around us. Um, game one, gonna be running into town and... <laughs> I love that scream. It's just internalizing all my feelings right now. But here we go, in game one, what was it from the first set that you saw that was so good for Numbers in terms of being able to make the adjustments around Sinji? Numbers made some really small changes to the micro spacing of the up B off stage. Um, one of the biggest ways that Sinji was consistently challenging him off stage was with down A. And as soon as Numbers was able to invalidate that, he just made it so much easier for himself. But right now, Numbers waiting so patiently, waiting out the hygiene and waiting out all those foods before jumping back on. But honestly, he's okay with being at the ledge. This is what he does best, baby. Yeah, it's just it's just that consistency. You always want to make sure that you're hiding out in the corner because you don't want to interact with that big damage burst that you could get out of Pac-Man. We've seen it time and time again. And it's just on numbers to find those little gaps. He, he finds it at all the right times. And I think that was a big key difference in that winner's set. And even though it's pretty much even right now, you can still see that he's confidently waiting for the right times to go in. Sinji has to play around that. Wow, getting the bell, but unfortunately in such an awkward position, not able to actually get a follow-up out of it. Numbers just, you know, going through the header for the option coverage. I love the way that, you know, Sinji uses bonus food, uses its sort of active um, hurt box to sort of extend the hydrogen a little bit and, and give themselves, you know, more time to charge the food. I actually like that mix-up attempt right there from Sinji. He knew that Numbers was probably going to possibly try to get out of there real quick. So, oh my god, five kicks for a freaking match. And the whole time to hold the hands. That F2 has put in so much work for Numbers all night. Wow. Um, that Hydra not going to be able to connect at all. Right now, Numbers fishing for that dash grab a little bit. And I have to say, every single little dash grab that Numbers has tried to get hasn't uh, actually happened that way. And he has suffered many consequences as a result of it. Um, but right now, Numbers, you know, 88%, not going to be losing his dog anytime soon. So as long as he doesn't get Bell to F smashed, um, he is just chilling. Excellent ledge roll, the classic, the one and only, the, the ledge roll into F tilt. What, could, yeah, what more could you ask for? <laughs> that belt ass match is pretty much what we were talking about before. That's going to be like the main KO option throughout this. I mean, here we go. Looking for it right now. Waits for it. Doesn't get that one, but gets the up smash. However, that ceiling helping out just ever so slightly. Another one will get that KO, though. To New York, baby. That's, that's, that's all I got to say for anybody in chat who does not reside in Tri-State. Whatever happened to that trip to the moon? Where, I was supposed <laughs> I could, I could have been on the moon right now instead of here. But you know what? That sun salutation, though, looking nice and bright, finding its way into that opening. Unfortunately, going a little bit too far near the ledge, though, getting reversed for it. Mm hmm. Numbers just sort of sitting at the ledge. Wow, is Sinji going for like a little bit of a variation on the bouncing hydrant? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You deserve that. I love seeing that down to, uh, that, I mean, that crouch uh -huh. as a way to, like, get around stuff, but you were just asking to get punished there. Who showed it? That's the, that's the Galaxian. 42% right off the bat. Since you already has his follow-ups on deck, you already know it, but having no hydrogen here means no timing mix-ups in the foreseeable future. That is a red trampoline. Oh, mama mia, pizzeria. That's, uh, terrifying. Yeah, so, somehow navigating around that too, because after that last one, you know that Sinji was looking for something, but numbers still getting around it. That header is just so good at going full screen to stop him. Oh, is he gonna go off stage? Nope. Maybe? Yep, yeah, 100%. I had a gut feeling he was going off stage and covers the get up there, taking what is foreseeably a very short lead because that's just how these sets go. Yeah, they just keep on exchanging these stocks. Sinji has a really good habit of like knowing like, hey, how do I play keep away? How do I make sure I minimize the amount of damage that I'm taking on a fresh stock? I have never seen them, you know, let an opponent get too much extra credit on them. Yeah, honestly, it's just so hard to hold that stock advantage with these two. They're, they're nuts. They're willing to go in even after they get kind of like pushed out a bunch because they just understand the pattern habits and routines of how they want to behave. And good job blocking that because that could have been Sinji chasing you to the ledge. 
Wow, I love the way that Sinji has just used the food to be able to give themselves an opening to break space, but John was ready for it. That time, John catching it for himself. Ah, oh, man, I'm telling you, if John has that in his hand, that's going to be a Sinji who struggles to initiate. Yeah, we saw it in the last set too versus, oh, the moment that, that uh, like any of the bell options or the fruits or whatever are gone, it makes it so much harder for Sinji to play the mind games that he's looking for, especially against somebody who can use so many different special moves and never actually throw the item back at you. Wow, that, <laughs> oh, that was cool. such a good chase. Yeah, that apple just scared John because he didn't know where it went. It just maybe kind of disappeared and maybe the camera didn't follow it. Wow, Sinji can make this up. Sinji already doing it, and I actually like the fact that once Sinji realized that the follow-up was a real, just went for another uh, option coverage trap, putting the fire hydrant down, just trying to force numbers into an un uncomfortable position. It's still very similar to the way that you respect Sinji at the ledge with Galacta in hand. Wow. You still gotta do the same thing against numbers. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, not able to get a follow-up out of the galaxy, and then Sinji just holding it onto the ledge though. Just keeps on catching it over and over again. Man. He just, he just, he just dribbles with it, honestly. Yeah, honestly, it's just, it's kind of incredible. Oh, no, go looking for the iron He's gonna go low. This could be a downer. Instead, tries to go for coverage. Ah. Good job backing off, realizing it wasn't gonna be there. Yeah, but that Hydra did not go off stage. It was not able to actually snipe numbers as it needed to. Numbers really good dash attack, able to catch a Galaxian, forces the high recovery, but unfortunately, he's already overcommitted to going low. Oh boy. Oh, oh waka, 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 waka. That side B was the perfect option because Numbers was trying so hard to force him to go low so he could get a low recovery. Oh no, Numbers gets pushed away even with Galaga in hand. You're certainly cut into a trap. I can't believe he got away from that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I, I feel like every single time that John wants to initiate when he does have a lead, he always goes for like the riskiest dash grabs I've ever seen. Oh boy. Yeah, you can he can make this back. Want. Oh my god, I'm so, numbers is incredible. The fact that you stalled that long, even with what was looking like a pretty much unwinnable position, still got away. Just so much innate character knowledge. He's been playing Wii Fit forever. He knows how long that up B goes, and that's the once that's that's it, baby. <laughs> just jabs you in the eye. That F till wow. So that F till has completely fixed numbers credit score and pays the bills. Like that, there is literally nothing that goes wrong when he decides to use it it just punishes it's so fast it's so quick to get people and it's big look at that just jabs him in the eye yeah actually oh that God. is right up in the eye that's rude that's mean why would you do that i mean i know why because of that match arena pop bonus baby we are does, currently does, looking at wait. one current game heading towards the end of the night does does pac-man even have eyes or are they just empty sockets i don't want to actually want to think about that i don't want i don't want to have to question that <laughs> <laughs> I love this setup. Everything about that. There wasn't really too much that numbers could do to run away. It just covered so much. What well, like? Wow. It, oh. See now I can't get that out of my head. Why'd you it have to just... put that cursed imagery in my head? It's like people who decided to show pictures of Sonic's feet. Like I, I just. Whoa. Whoa. I, I, I can't. What? I can't. I can't deal with y'all. What and kind of a logical <laughs> leap? Did we? How did we get from it's A to Z? It's still cursed images that, and things that I don't want to think about. Can you get to game number two here? If you're watching and expecting anything to be different than Town and City, you're completely wrong. This is where we'll be for the rest of the night. You good, bro? Like, just straight up. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can answer that correctly <laughs> right now. Honestly, though, like, this is looking pretty good. This is just textbook John Numbers versus Sinji. Both of them just trying to play smart, calculated, not heavy risks, and properly getting small punishes. 30 seconds in, only 17% to John's name. Sinji not taking a lick of damage. John did recognize that he was in a bit of an off position, tried to move around the Galaxian, but Sinji was still able to catch the landing nonetheless. John doing what he does best, waiting out on the ledge, but Sinji doing what he does best as well, and that's waiting with the Galaxian in his hand. You know, it's like, it's like a Texas standoff, you know, they're both just staring at each other, guns loaded. When you're a ledge trap monster versus a reverse ledge trap feed, it's just insane because both of them are just playing so perfect that dodging around it the entire time. It's actually crazy that majority of the neutral game in this matchup is actually spent at mm -hmm. just, tr just trying to beat the numbers on the ledge. Not even Sinji on the ledge, just numbers on the ledge. Let's talk about Hedu hitting a uh, Hydrant and then the Hydrant just bouncing back and still slapping back. The head of the 
I don't know why that interaction took place the way it did, but God bless, honestly. Dylan, if that was to happen, I would personally take a train to Chinatown right now and have choice words. <laughs> with... <laughs> Anyways, but so, um, you can see numbers just trying to get a read on the reaction of how uh, Sinji wants to act out of defensive uh, situations. He's, he's purposely letting some of these things go and waiting for him to jump to see how he wants to do it. Two minutes in, baby, and no stock. This is the Tri-State Classic. John Nambu's voice is the Sinji. Oh man, Nambu's just slowly. I like the patience at ledge once again, like Swigative not fighting his way back on a little too aggressively. Ah, oh, but catches him in the end lag of the Haru. Uh, John maybe thought that he would have been able to drift over it. Sinji gonna be the first one to take it, but <laughs> gets right up into it, sure. I respect it. I respect it entirely. You throw out some salutation there. It's low risk, high reward. You make sure that you catch Sinji if he decides to jump off. And if he stays there that much longer, he gets hit at the ledge anyways. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. John trying to go for the fade back up there. That was a bit of, you know, that was, that was interesting. Not really sure what he was looking for from the ledge at that position. But wow, Hydrogen at ledge is just shutting down a lot of what Nambu's wants. He can't get any headers onto the stage. He can't get any sun salutations. He is like quite literally just being blocked off. Yeah, honestly, if you, once you get to that point, you know, actually, I'm kind of mad. I was going to say something complimentary, but then I realized that after, like, those seven interactions, only 0 to 18% happened, so I don't really have anything for it. Their defense is just so good. Like, it's, it's and many jokes as I can make about it, it's just fun, but, like, their defense is just so on point. It's actually insane. Just, most of this stuff is just reactionary like to, to player habits there's not many times numbers has actually been caught by like basic horizontal fruits yeah because he's always prepared they're always prepared they're always positioning themselves they're always cognizant just to make sure that they're moving around their opponent's projectiles while still being able to set up the gun they have played each other how many times more times longer than i've been alive probably there is a real chance that the amount of gameplay that these people have had. All right, never mind. I don't even, I, I, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna keep just yelling at him the whole time as I sit here and lose my mind. Uh, but like, <laughs> you know, it's possible. I'm gonna start mating Toad and everything from this point forward. <laughs> I just realized it's possible that these two have the highest game oh time. God to amount of sets played ratio out of anybody. That actually, yeah, I don't I don't think that there's, that could be I think contested. this might be it. I think this might actually be it. I think the only person who could, pop, actually no, Wrath played against people like Cola in, in Fatality. So hmm. those would still somehow go kind of quick at some points. But these two, this is just, this is literally just watching two international like chess masters go at it. They, they, they the, the, the decision making is so calculated behind every choice. Yeah, um, but just like that, I like the reset from Sinji, just gets the forward to recognize it, that he doesn't want to push in a little bit too far. Just goes in once again, just to charge up a little bit, tries to go get through the follow-up on the Galaxian, but a little bit too hesitant to pull the trigger. Had the right idea, though. Yeah, definitely expected him to look for something there in that situation, but it is definitely just one of those spots where... Even, even with trying to read that landing in front, you still have to respect the fact that numbers might just swing mm -hmm. there. Oh my gosh, Nambu's just trying his best to land crosses up Sinji's shield, which is uh, a difficult thing to do sometimes, and you can definitely pay. Um, wow. So that was interesting. I believe that move does have a win box on it, so it might have been able to actually suck in not been shielding. Yeah, and this is uh, this this just plays into what we've said all night between these two. He who has the, the stock lead, it, it's gone. It's gone because I decided to speak on it. <laughs> <laughs> he usually has the stock lead off first stock in this. Tends to control the pace of the match the entire time. They don't even just... give us the opportunity to be analytical. That's going to be it. That's the bell into the F smash. Already a guaranteed game number three. So there's not going to be any three outs tonight, baby. We'll end this one for the long run. Oh, boy. Oh, buddy. Yeah. The idea that there would ever be a 3-0 between these two. Oh. It's what just a... not possible. It you know, just honestly, won't happen. I just. <laughs> 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 All right, but still, um, for everybody in the chat. I appreciate every single one of you, all 300 plus of you, for being here with us all night, watching what truly is a Xeno Classic, and just sticking out with us, watching as our brain cells slowly leave our bodies and our sanity tends to drift away. But we are watching these two players just kill it 
at how good they are at understanding the options that their opponent has. It's just the the consistency of knowing their habits. This could easily be a game where like Sinji just goes in and destroys numbers, but it just doesn't happen because numbers understands all the traps Sinji has. Oh my gosh. Um, they're just gonna keep on going against the town and city, but you know what? This is definitely one of my favorite KK Slider songs, so I'm with it. We're gonna be jamming out, guys. Type in cat jam. Uh, if you if you if you tend to agree here and right now. in the chat. We gotta get live. We gotta get hyped up. Sinji looking for the low recovery with that down air. That's that's something I said before. It, that really a majority of the success from Sinji winning these games is how many times can he actually get those early down airs to get that <laughs> gun jam? Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Now Sinji just holding on. Uh, just to this ledge so hard right now, but Number is able to get the follow-up from the up tilt, and right now just controlling the stage so well, able to sort of clank a little bit with the hydrant. Uh, but wow, man, this is uh, this this one's this one's really fast-paced compared compared to the other ones. Look at that, they already dealt over 80%. It's been a minute. Wild, leaps and bounds, truly. Yeah, honestly, a whole minute in, and we've reached a point where somebody might might die soon. That's crazy. <laughs> like just, but it's just. They just can't afford to go in because of that. Like, if Numbers decided to blitz in without a good burst option there, he would have taken that Galaga and possibly the Fire Hydrant. And he finds the one opening, looks for the low recovery, and tries to go for the reverse hit for the forward there, but does not get the hit. Yeah, does not find it quite yet. Right now, wow, the Sun Salutation is going to be able to get there in time. And this is Numbers. Okay, guys. I want you all to understand the absurdity of the situation. Numbers with a stock lead within the first two minutes. Actually unheard of. Yeah, this is like this is exactly what Sinji cannot afford to let stay for too long. For reasons like what we saw a second ago, getting the, the deep breathing, getting a little bit of extra health, and the fact that Sinji pretty much has to approach to find that KO, it just plays all into the deep breathing tactics. It, oh, oh, but he okay, still finds it. And that's why you can't be over committing to projectiles. Sinji was able to bait it out because of that really uncomfortable trajectory arc of the bell. It's just able to get on top of you and just like whiff punish you. Um, so that was beautiful awareness from Sinji. And just like that, he even it back up. Waka waka. Oh my god, and taking 91%. That could be a stock! A new record has been set! He has taken two stocks and only 25%. Honestly, this is 2021. This is a new numbers. Um, this is not the same numbers that we've seen for years past. Who, I've been who needs, for this. Who, who needs board the platforms or break the targets when you can watch these two try and set records of how fast they KO each other? Who's swinging? They've had enough. Both of them have had enough. They're holding forward, they're swinging, they're approaching, and they're initiating. And John, ready to just wait out that Galaxian, was able to crouch under it. That grab is so active. Going to be going through every single spot that Jet so pleases. Love the wait from John. You can't be preemptively selecting any options that you just have to respect the bell. Oh my god, and both the, 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 the oh my god, the arms warfare, that's a jump. He's supposed to recover low. He's gonna try. Oh, good job by numbers recovering a little bit earlier. Why does the up tilt keep hitting, lingering so long and getting that hit at the ledge? I didn't know that lingered that long. You, friend, you and me both. Um, well, okay, Sinji just setting up the tech chase. Is he gonna be able to find it? No, unfortunately, was not able to actually cross up John's shield. He tried to maybe run through it or something. Not really sure what he was looking for, if I'm honest. Um, I love the spacing, I love the timing and the patience, but gonna run right into the head of F tilt. Uh, this is looking tough for Sinji. That's it's it, been baby. A while before John numbers one, before three, three minutes now. left. Wow. It's been a while. Since I've felt sane, please help me, I wanna low. <laughs> anyway, so I can't, <laughs> I can't believe that that game ended before three minutes. And John Numbers is currently up two games to one. It could happen. It could happen. We could avoid the um, reset unless yeah, Sinji makes the run possible. back. It's <laughs> possible. Let's hold on to hope. Listen, friend, anything is possible. Um, this won't go to game five. This will just be John 3-1. Easy peasy, you know. That's that's all we can do. Just, I, just hold on to hope, my friend. I am one of the biggest pushers of never being biased on the mic. I think that we have to do the best at all times to make sure that we provide a entertaining and learning experience for everyone so they can understand something new. However, I'm kind of rooting for numbers right now. Let's go, numbers! <laughs> Listen, friend, this match, 
It's just like a bowl of wings. We talked about this before, you just gotta let the new viewers know. Sometimes a little bit of spice is nice in your life. You know, a little bit of pain is good. You know, it, it, it brings satisfaction. You know, at the I end of the day, if, yeah. at the end of the day, if your wings don't have wings, you add hot sauce on it, then then what's the point? You're just eating a plain and stale wing. Everything's got to have a little bit of pain to it. There is no beauty without pain. I've told you this already. I eat for fun, not for pain. And I don't want to feel good. I want to eat. <laughs> you know, again, both these players trying to eat. There's a big pot bonus. There's a lot of money attached at the end of this. And they, you, you got to just give credit to the way the numbers is playing. The way it's Sinji's trying to be careful. Because that's, that's, this is literally the difference between who gets to get fast food and who gets to get steak. Like, it, it, that, there's a big difference in the money right now. Yeah, right now, Nambu is trying to go for the bell setup. They're not able to find it. Is able to smack out that hydrant with the down tilt, not able to connect on Sinji either. Oh man, they're just both, they're both doing that thing again. Neither of them are particularly enthusiastic to initiate. Nambu tries to go for a bit of a call out there, try to catch the Sinji sleeping, but you know, he just sits in shield and able to uh, move on with his life. Wow. Oh, and then gets caught by the trip all the way down there with the fire hydrant and now Sinji holding a stock lead. This allows Sinji, uh, Sinji to kind of just chill back a bit, wait for the bad approaches, actually trying to go in a little bit right now and get some solid punishes on numbers until he decided to get a little bit too aggressive on top of him. Yeah, is able to secure the kill and right now this is looking like an even game, both of them sitting at two stocks. Wow, Sinji able to account for the win box of the hydrant, able to punish numbers. Um, you know, gonna be just you know whiffing that four leader on his shield. <gasps> oh no! Oh, that's another down. This is so bad. Forces him to recover high. I like the uh, but the trades apple. with the hitbox. Wow, so unfortunate because Sinji had the right idea but wasn't able to find it. Yeah, Sinji still keeping it in a good position. Like all these trades were in his favor. Now it's starting to get a hit a few times here. But he needs to be careful with those burst options from John. You see John trying to find his way in, looking for a fire hydrant that was never there. Ooh, so Sinji had the good idea with the hydrogen, but unfortunately the model still kicked a little bit out. The sun salutation hitting them. Wow, Numbu's not able to get the kill though. He was positioned. He was ready. He was primed and ready. And yet he wasn't able to find it. But even then, Sinji had already put the trampoline down though. If he got spiked, he'd be fine. He'd be oh, chilling. Oh, the dash attack finds its way in. That's that burst option I was talking about before. He's going so low, he's waiting for it. But the aggressive idea out of Sinji worked against him. I liked it for a second, but it didn't work. And now numbers looking at what could be the spoiler for the stream to possibly get the reset unless Sinji could get the KO right here at 153. He can find That's it soon. That's awfully optimistic of you, honestly. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> We, listen, <laughs> New York will teach you different. It'll it'll crush your hopes and dreams, my friend. I love I love NY. Hashtag love NY. Uh, yep. Sinji gonna find his way into that KL to find the stock. We are still oh potentially in this. Oh, 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 oh Sinji gets oh, it. No, what the hell? Actually, saves Sinji. <gasps> but he still needs oh. to fight. <laughs> He's going for the reverse, and Sinji somehow right in front of John. He's not dead yet. Numbers looking for the high recovery. Doesn't hit him with the sun salutation. Somehow Sinji survives. Oh my god. My god. <laughs> Sinji fed his win now. If he lived that, he fed his win. Oh my god. Sitting at 139, you know he's going to die to F2, right? 100% is going to be F2. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? Because wow, my body is telling me otherwise. Oh, but back it's a here. Back is gonna be able to do it. Is John? John? Whoa, Nintendo oh, chip is. numbers. And oh, it. it takes the Macharino pot of a thousand plus dollars to take it okay. over Sinji in what was okay. one of the most ridiculous nights we've had in quite some time, and I loved every second of it. <laughs> Oh my god, what was that last stock? How did Sinji just get to 125 in the blink of an eye? I need to know what was going through both of their heads when that entire offstage situation happened. Like that Honestly, whole thing, that was like a match in itself. Just with the way that they were fighting yeah. and scrapping off. If I was Sinji, I'd have been terrified. <laughs> I'd just been going, ah, inside <gasps> of my head. Guys, this concludes the very first installment <laughs> of the Xeno Wi-Fi Monthly. I think, actually, this didn't end the way it should have. It should have ended in the Game 10 Grand Finals, honestly. You know? I I'm a little disappointed. If I, you, know? you know what? That's I'm the difference. If this was local, it would have been a Game 10. 